My name is Grace. Today we are going to read the Bible story. The Bible title is Two by Two. Oh, yesterday's Bible title. The Bible title is Two by Two. Noah and the Flood. And today we are going to read God's amazing promise. God's amazing promise. Abraham is called by God. Genesis twelve to one, twelve chapter one to nine, and fifteen chapter one to seven. Abraham lived in Haran. Abraham, God said, I want you to leave Haran and go to another land. God didn't tell Abraham where that was. Trust me, God said. Abraham was living in Haran, and one day, God has sent him, him to live Haran. But I think it is where he was living. Yeah, it, he was living, and they're like they're living here so so beautifully. And one day God was saying, leave Haran. And God, even God didn't tell where he had to go. And he said, trust me. <laughs> this is very funny. Sorry. Do this, God said, and your children will become a great nation. How? Abraham wondered. His wife Sarah was too old to have children. Trust me, God said. So there live, and God said, You must do this. And your children will become a great nation. Like, they will be a high person. They will be a good person who many people know. And like, Abraham was thinking, how can they will be a great nation? Hmm. Sarah is too old. Like he was saying, Sarah is, is too old, God. And God was still saying, Trust me. Sarah uh -huh. is. Huh? Sarah is looking good. Uh -huh. How? Sarah is too old. <laughs> yes. Question. Did God tell Abraham where he was to go? Did God tell Abraham where he was to go? That God said, let go to Egypt or go somewhere like that? No, he didn't. He said, just trust me. Go where I tell you, God said, and you will have more descendants than there are stars in the sky. They will bless the whole world. Trust me. And that night, God said, Go where, where I tell you. 
y seco. And you will have this condense that more than the sky. A stars in the sky, not the sky. And they will bless the whole world. And he again trusts. Said, trust me. You'll have more distance than the sky. A star in the in the in the sky. So Abraham trusted God. He took Sarah, his nephew Lot, and everything they owned. He went where God told him to go. He went to the land of Canaan. So he really trusted God, and Abraham was going with Sarah and nephew and what he has. And God said to go to Canaan. <laughs> Question: God said Abraham would have more distance than the earth. Number one, cow. Number two, the coconut tree. Number three, the stars. Number three is the correct answer. When he arrived, Abraham camped at Shechem. God appeared to him. I will give this land to you and your children. God said. Abraham built an altar to God there. <laughs> So, really, Abraham trust God and go to Kenya. Kenya. And Abraham has built an altar for God in that place. And God said. I will give you this word, this land, to your children. Like Sarah, only making a soup. land. He was glad that he had trusted God. So he built another altar and gave thanks to God for all he had been promised. And Abraham saw the God's promised land. He was so happy. He was glad that he had trusted God. And he made another altar for the God altar and gave thanks to God that God has promised what God has promised. Now Sarah is not making a soup. to God, giving thanks for all he had been promised. True or false? 
the key and yes he did he made an another altar and also giving thanks for the promise yes today i read the bible story did you enjoy god's amazing promise yeah today we have read god's amazing promise yeah next time we'll read another story goodbye